Hi everybody, Jacqueline Johnson here, your resident yogi conductor. Um, I'm in Goa, India at the Kranti Yoga School where I'm starting this yoga blog about how to incorporate meditation and yogic practice into your rehearsal. So lesson one, we're going to talk about bringing meditation or focusing activities into your choral rehearsal. Um, I love to start rehearsals this way because people come in with all of their stuff going on in their heads, tests, homework, work, relationship issues, stress, self-doubt, etc. And it's all chattering up in the mind and it affects the rehearsal. Or I've led honor choirs with 120 students and they're just buzzing. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is gonna be interesting. We need to calm them down and bring it in. So um, I rarely, if ever, call it meditation and rehearsal. That's, that's the first thing I wanna talk about because some people have an aversion. Um, they worry about it being linked to religion. I wanna let you know that you do not have to do this from a religious standpoint at all. And it actually works beautifully with any religion or no religion. Um, meditation is not a clearing of the mind. It's not a creating a blank slate becoming a zombie. That's not meditation. True meditation means being fully present. Not thinking about the future, not thinking about the past, because when we do all of that, that inner dialogue, we're not present. When you have, as an example, when you have a really great conversation with somebody and you are completely absorbed, that's a state of meditation. When you're walking in nature and you're not thinking about, oh, that's a pretty tree, or oh, oh, and you're just there, that's a state of meditation. So that is what we want to create in our rehearsal because when we are in a meditation state, fully present, that's when we get into the flow state, when we are just absorbed in what we're doing so much that time flies and, and, and we have the best rehearsals. You know those rehearsals, when you're just in the groove, in the flow state, in a meditative state, the whole time. So that's what we wanna achieve. So when students uh, or, or performers and musicians come into the rehearsal, I'll often ask, all right, take a comfortable seat, nothing on your lap. Um, you can be cross-legged, you can have your feet flat, you can be resting against the chair, you can be up, just be comfortable. Try and be upright. And I ask them to lower their gaze or close their eyes, whichever they're most comfortable with. Then I ask them to place their hands on their legs, on their knees, whichever. And something fun you can do, you don't have to do it, is I say, if you are a little tired you, and you wanna receive some energy, turn your palms upward. If you want, if you're a little excited and you need to ground yourself and relax, turn your palms downward, something fun. And then I ask them to just think about their breath. Connecting to the breath, because as singers and musicians, uh, you know, wind players, etc., that is what makes our music. So we want to connect with the breath, with the life force of the music. All right. And then I say some things like, I want you to take everything that is not serving you right now, all the thoughts of the future things you're going to do, of past stresses, worries, self-doubt, and I want you to put it in a little box. I want you to shove it gently to the side. Don't think about it. If you want to pick it back up later, that's fine. But right now, let it be free. All right? Um, and then from there, we go into some breathing exercises and some singing exercises, all with the eyes closed, so that, again, sense withdrawal. They start to listen more and become more in tune with the body. Uh, but we'll go over those in the next few lessons. All right? Hope you enjoyed. Bye.